Well, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Recently, this government announced significant changes to the area known as the Bighorn. Uh, this area is important to lo our local community, our energy industry, our forestry industry, our film and tourist industries, outdoor enthusiasts, and tens of thousands of recreation users that use it a year. The NDP brought forward their ineffective consultation process to happen over the Christmas holidays in an attempt to get their predetermined outcome rubber stamp, Mr. Speaker. My question is to the Minister. What I would like to know is this. The North Saskatchewan Regional Plan is not even completed, so what, on, what basis did you base your design of this new park system? The Honourable Minister, Parks and Environment. Well, uh, thank you very much, uh, uh, Mr. Speaker. And of course, there's been uh, years of consultation in this uh, in this area. Clearwater uh, County put out their tourism development strategy in 1992. Previous government did nothing. Uh, Regional Advisory Council made certain recommendations in 2014. Previous government did nothing. Uh, so, Mr. Speaker, there's a tremendous economic development opportunity here, and I, as Environment Minister, have a responsibility uh, to make sure that that happens. Just like I have a responsibility to get pipelines built, Mr. Speaker. As Environment Minister, that is my responsibility, just like it's everyone in this caucus and in this cabinet's responsibility. Mr. Speaker, let's be very clear. This minister has not consulted with the community, certainly not with Clearwater County. She, mis she misinformed us about a meeting she said she had with the mayor of Rocky Mountain House about it most famously. This is a minister who has done everything possible to avoid talking to the very people that, that, that are, are going to be affected by this. There is a regional access committee. This minister has completely avoided talking to them. The question is this. Why does she keep avoiding talking to the people that will be impacted by this? Why does she continue to hide from them and not have a real conversation to stand up and do part and rhetoric. Talk to our community. Stop hiding, Minister. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. And I find it curious that the Honourable Member it, uh, wants to reject $40 million of investment into his own constituency. He wants to reject economic development for his own uh, uh, constituents. He wants to reject the, uh, 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 the perspective of business owners in and around Nordegg, Mr. Speaker. Economic development is all of our responsibility, just like getting pipelines built is all of our responsibility, <laughs> Mr. Speaker. That is something we're focused on as a government. Calm. Uh, second supplemental. Mr. Speaker, nobody's rejecting anything. In fact, in these questions, I never even said that we would reject capital investment. There's lots of important areas, including along Highway 11, that I actually think inside this plan are a good idea. The question I have is about the consultation process uh, that this minister has followed. Let's be clear, Mr. Speaker. She has completely avoided the community. She will only do invite-only meetings. Uh, she will not meet with people that disagree with the plan that she has. She's only focused on foreign interest groups that are pushing for things in our backyards. Okay. She is ignoring business owners, who I do talk to all the time in Rocky Mountain House. Mr. Speaker, she is also ignoring uh, the community as a whole and Albertans across the whole province who want input into the process. And further, that is ignoring the process in law. So again, will this minister commit to consulting uh, with Albertans, know. yes or no? Time is up. And I didn't hear a question in there. Point of order, no. Go ahead, Honourable Minister. Well, uh, Mr. Speaker, I've heard from almost 22,000 people who sent postcards. I've heard from countless area residences. Uh, I have heard from uh, uh, business owners, Mr. Speaker. I'll read a couple of quotes. Uh, Our residents enjoy outdoor recreation. A protected headwaters not only benefits the residents of Spruce Grove, this is North Saskatchewan. That's from uh, uh, the mayors of Spruce Grove and Stony Plain. I've heard from the members' own constituents. Quote, there is a need for public investments in trail infrastructure, parking areas, outhouses, enforcement that has not occurred under Plus management. These are business owners in the members' own riding. Mr. Speaker, I have questions as to who he's representing, just as who he's working for. I know who I'm working for, and that's the people of Alberta. Here, here.